Assassin's Creed China is finally coming. It seems like Ubisoft has given us a ton of information today with the lore that they have finally revealed to the world. Where we will now finally get a chance to play in China. We're going to be playing as a 16-year-old girl. So Ubisoft has decided to title this lore as Assassin's Creed The Imperial Jade Seal. Now, just a couple days ago, Ubisoft hosted an official Assassin's Creed live event all over the world in which they have now revealed a bunch of new lores and storylines which is very likely going to be converted into a final game a triple a title now of course even if ubisoft ends up making these games it is most likely going to be part of assassin's creed infinity which is coming up as one of the biggest creed game which is going to combine and include all of the upcoming assassin's creed game contents all together as one so assassin's creed china the imperial jade is going to be part of assassin's creed infinity if ubisoft decides to release it after assassin's Assassin's Creed Infinity. Now Ubisoft has provided us with a bunch of information here regarding the entire storyline, who we're going to be playing as, and a bunch of stuff like that. Now it seems like the story is set in China during the Tang Dynasty, during the reigns of Empress Wu Zetian. Now the protagonist that we're going to be playing as is going to be Zhang Sun Kui. So that's the name of the character who is a 16 years old girl who has been trained in martial arts since her childhood by her master. And the master that trains the girl is apparently a princess of Gao Chang Kingdom and this girl the protagonist is later then given a mission a very crucial mission in which she has to find and secure a piece of apple of Eden which is scattered around China during the great war of Tang Dynasty and this quest puts the young woman in the middle of wider conspiracies as her own uncle tries to manipulate her into murdering the Empress Wu Zetian. Now the storyline is all about she trying to stick with her values and understand the true nature of Tui B2. I don't know what that basically means. And this also means that you're going to be saving China from the Templars and the powers of Apple of Aiden. Now this of course is great news because we're finally going to be able to play Assassin's Creed and set in China if Ubisoft is currently working on this game. This could be a big thing. Ubisoft could already be working on designing this project with hands-on but unfortunately we're not going to be receiving any information until it is at least to play ready so as of now the lore is all that we have but we don't have any confirmation on how the game is going to look what engine are they using how the graphics whether it's going to be coming out this year next year or even further we have no certain confirmations here but of course all that we know is that it's set in tang dynasty which is something that all of the assassin's creed fans have been asking for when they wanted to see a game set in asia especially in china because tang dynasty is something that everybody is super hyped about people have also been asking a game to be set in Japan, India, as well as a couple of other places like Russia. So history is in this place is of course very rich and I think the Ubisoft should start focusing more towards the Asian regions of ancient history for Assassin's Creed and that would be absolutely fantastic if we could finally get to play in one of these locations. Now there's this one question that I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking in the comments. Are we just going to be able to play as a girl, a female character who's going to be a 16 year old one? Now, of course the character does develop and become a full adult as she trains under the princess and i honestly think that ubisoft at this point they would honestly give us two different choices one being the male and female even though the canon of the storyline is going to be the female character zang sun we are still going to be able to play as a male character so that's basically how ubisoft designs all of their upcoming assassin's creed games because they don't want to be disappointing both the male as well as female fans so you kind of have both the different choices here but when it comes to canons there's always just the female versions that are canons for most of the upcoming Assassin's Creed games and this seems to be one of them as well so we're most likely going to be getting two options male and female so just keep that in mind and yeah let me know down below in the comments are you guys excited to see Assassin's Creed games set in Tang Dynasty in China finally and let Ubisoft know down below in the comments because developers of Ubisoft they do watch these videos they do ask people for recommendations on what new upcoming settings would fans like to see for the next Assassin's Creed games. So your takes and your thoughts on these would be absolutely appreciated. So please make sure to go ahead, drop your comments down below. So just letting Ubisoft know on what setting would you guys like to see on the next Assassin's Creed game. My personal opinion would be, I want to see an Assassin's Creed game either set in China, Japan, or India. Man, these three things are on my top priority list here. And I would love to see an Assassin's Creed game here with a full-on, full-fledged AAA 
title, nothing like the side sliders or a mobile game. I want a full fledged AAA title like what we see with Origins and Valhalla and stuff like that. So that would be really cool. If you soft, you guys are watching this, just go ahead, look down in the comments and see what the community really wants. And yeah, for all of you guys watching this video, I will of course keep you guys updated with every single day's information on all the upcoming Assassin's Creed games that are going to be coming out, all the information, the leaks and all the stuff and basically every single things that you need to know about open world games that will be available right here on my channel so make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on and make sure that you guys are setting your notification settings to all because if you don't do that then the bro guys youtube platform they just don't send you guys the notifications of my daily videos so make sure you guys set it to all with that being said if you guys should go on and enjoy this video and want to show some support to me as content creator want to support this video then just please take a few seconds of your time and drop a like on this video that would really mean a lot to me it really does help me get motivated in order to make a better content for you guys every single day so your support is very very valuable i really respect all of you guys supporting with that being said i hope you guys do have a blast of a day and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video until then take it easy fams and goodbye